Hello and welcome to another video. This one is about an error that uh, I've seen a bunch of times in my terminal and uh, someone else in my Twitch stream was like, hey, what, is this, what does this mean? So I'm going to show you the particular series of events that, that, that led to this and how it kind of works and then how to fix it. Okay, so what they were doing is they were in a Git repository. Uh, so we're just going to make a Git repository. And they were running uh, git commit. We'll just do allow empty so that we don't have to actually write any code here. And they were writing a commit message that was like implement the uh, donate command or something like that. And when, when they ran this git command, it produced this error bash bang donate event not found, which is perhaps a, a bit confusing. Um, but the reason for this is the bang and bash, the exclamation mark, has a bunch of special meanings. And one of the particular meanings that it has is it will try and find the string after it and search for a previous history command and run that. So like, I think one of them I had was bang wat. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> this looked back through my history and found watch pre-commit run mypy dash dash all files and expanded this into this. Um, so basically it looked for an event in my history and expanded to that. And this is the error message when it didn't find anything to match. Now, of course, this is not at all what you actually wanted to do. What you actually wanted to do is put a literal backslash into your command. And the way to fix that is to use the, the other quotes. So there are two types of quotes in bash. One is double quotes, which is soft quotes. Uh, inside soft quotes, things like dollar signs, exclamation marks, etc., have special meanings, backticks as well. Um, and they will, you know, run subshells, dereference variables, look for events, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but if you use hard quotes, which are single quotes, if we do instead, oh, and also the other annoying thing is it doesn't show up in your, um, in your arrow history. So it, it errored so much that bash didn't even record that we tried to run this command. So I actually have to copy and paste this. And if I change those double quotes to single quotes, you'll see that it works as expected. And we get our output with the literal exclamation mark in it. And so that's how you can do, you know, a, a literal case here. Now, sometimes you need to mix and match. So sometimes you need a variable, but you also don't want the exclamation mark to do, uh, you know, whatever it did here. So let's say like uh, we wanted to put dollar user in here. And if we do this just by, by default, it's going to put the literal dollar sign user in there and not the actual, you know, user variable that we wanted to show. Like I wanted to put Acetilly in here, but it didn't work out that way. And the way that you can do this is you can end the hard quotes and start soft quotes. And as long as they're nestle, nestled up next to each other, uh, they will produce a single string. So I'm going to end the hard quotes and start the soft quotes. And so this is this is all one big, oh, and we have to you know double quotes down here. This is all one big string, and this is a string join that happens here. And so now if we do this, you'll see that uh, the dollar sign, the variable is interpreted just as a variable, but we're, you know, still leaving this, this bang alone. Uh, but anyway, that's, you know, this weird event not found error, as well as a little tidbit about hard and soft quotes. Uh, hopefully this was interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.